Baby girl, we're going on a holiday today. Are you excited? Take that as a no. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later, I have started to just love in every glass I'm drinking. We're like one and without you I'm sinking. What's up, Juno? <sighs> That's nice, isn't it? All for you. So we've just checked into our doggy friendly um, holiday home here in Rye. First impressions, it smells so fresh. Outdoor space here. You step into like the little living room area and the kitchen. And how cute is the little doggy setup as well? Bedroom number one, bedroom number two. There's little sanitation stations all over the house as well. Feels like they've really taken care of absolutely everything. The place is spotless. Do you like it? <laughs> She's just like, can I please have a nap? <laughs> We're just walking to the high street. Our house is in a row of houses just behind us and then the high street is just behind these houses and we look onto the salt flats here which we might walk Juno in later although she's acting like she doesn't want any more walkies today she's very happy <laughs> in Nate's jacket I think she's a little bit tired to be honest and you shouldn't walk new puppies too much but we'd rather have her out with us than left her home alone just gonna have a little look around the shops maybe find a dog friendly pub to have a little drink in Don't want to sleep tonight at all Just want to watch them stars fall But you don't want to try to make up dreams Just to be seen I want to lay here beside Come on here to talk and I've got a bored suit in my mouth. Sorry. We're back from our little walk around Ryan. We've had a few hours just to chill here at the little house. I'm actually running myself a bar. Got my glass of rose there. The bubbles churning, candle lit. Fire breath and open sky. It's not what we know. It's where we go. I grow wings at tell It's not what we see, it's what we choose to be. We're just back from a delicious meal at Landgate Bistro, all which since we're wearing like gloves and those big PPE screens across their faces. Came home to Juno, as always so excited to see her. So now I'm just gonna like wear her out for a little bit and then we can actually go to bed and have some more alone time. It's so funny, now that we've got a dog, it's like you literally have to factor it into everything. <laughs> a great precursor to having children, honestly. Before Juno, I was like me and Nate are both at an age where, you know, if, if we had a baby, it would be okay. Like the time timing would be fine. But now that we've got Juno, I'm literally like, I don't need a baby anytime soon, if I'm perfectly honest. Look who is in our bed. This is illegal behavior. I'm convinced this house is haunted. Nate and I are, um, used to sleeping in a super king bed together so um this double bed that we're in it's just a bit small so when we put her to bed in the bathroom we kind of like gated off an area because she's not supposed to sleep in the same room as us we left the doors open though we went to sleep but we just weren't sleeping because we're just not used to being so close in the bed so nate went upstairs i just couldn't sleep i kept hearing things and she kept whining on and off really oddly and then about 4 a.m she was like whining quite a lot then suddenly there was this most gigantic crash in the bathroom my makeup bag got knocked over and it went everywhere and she was crying like she was in the most crazy pain but she was actually just at the gate like trying to get out the whole time so the, the makeup i didn't wasn't anywhere near her or didn't fall on her but she was crying and screaming and like both ran down the stairs like ah, like really confused we tried to set her up calm her down but we kept spying on her and she was just looking around like 
like that the whole time and I was like that's it this place is haunted like I couldn't sleep because I kept hearing noises we took, took, took her into our room and we ended up all sleeping in the same bed together so I'm exhausted on the plus side it is a beautiful day this morning blue skies absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna go down make some breakfast and we can have that and then we can get uh, all packed up and go down to the beach look at this bullshit tired oh tired are we tired are we Gigi, you've been curled up with us since 4 a.m. Some flowers, high grass, and beer feet. Oh, to each second is a tree. Eat, I keep my balance next to you. It's true. Nowadays, there's nothing I wouldn't do. So it's not what we know, it's where we go. I grow wings and tell her goodbye. She knows what's to play. Where is it? It's not what oh. we see. Yeah. It's what we choose. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. I've never been so ready. Do you know? Do you know? Come, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. It's where we go. I go wings and tell you go. Juno. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're heading back from the beach now. We're here about four hours. It was so nice. Uh, Juno went in the sea for the first time. I'm not gonna lie, she didn't love it. <laughs> she was okay at the beginning and then she got a mouthful of seawater and I think it's put her off. Calvin Sands is such a beautiful beach and they've got designated doggy areas as well and they were really quite empty. I mean, I know it's a Friday, so we're all packed up, we're heading back to Rye. Spooky little cottage, number 24. So that's been our little staycation, probably yes. the first of many in 2020. Rye is so lovely and Camp Sands as a beach is just really beautiful. One of the best in Britain, I think. So yeah, it's been lovely. We've enjoyed it. It's been good to see a different part of the UK, I guess, since we've been in Hackney now for four months. It just makes a bit of a nice change of scenery. Let me know if you guys are staking in the UK this year and comment below where you are going because I need some inspiration for my next trip. Thanks for watching. Bye!